Heaven Letter Number 6606 by Gloria Wendroth. Let God Lead. February 26, 2019. God said, Beloved, time and attention aren't such big things as they seem in the world. With all respect to you, and I have great respect for the assumed you, as anyone could who revolves in this beautiful fantasy lived out in the world can possibly do, stay with me. Let me lead. In God you trust. Be in peace. How do you do this? Slow down. Do you imagine that God whizzes through a spree-like time, and sees it's validating all the ends, and outs that, are caught up in all of humankind's thoughts, and fantasies? I weigh in on everything from a different vantage point from what you do. I, God, of course, take all the time and in the world. I give all the consideration in the middle of the mist that you believe is of great consequence. Consequence at this time does not mean that one person, or another means more, or less to me as, if I randomly choose one over another as of greater importance. No, please no, not less of love for you in your occupation by a long shot. Do I think of giving less? No, absolutely not. There is more than one scale of life going on at this moment. It isn't for you, beloved to ask me to change my mind. Look from my eyes. I see different stakes from what you see at present. My requirements come from a different cast of sunlight at hand. By no means does everyone's relationship have the same pH balance, or the same requirements on screen. With you, and another, competition does not exist, none, there is no competition between you, and me, beloved. Now we come back to the topic of oneness. Be assured I have more than enough love for all. Attention from me to one, or another doesn't mean bounty to one, or the other. I do not hand out attention for points. Dear one, where did you get the idea that you have to okay what, I say, or do next? I am not stingy. Nor do I ration you. Be assured I have enough attention and love for all. Come from this space. Put your attention on plenty rather than on lack. What are you thinking? No one is left out of my kingdom. Beloved, don't single yourself out as, if one of twain who is less privileged, and another of greater attention, and, furthermore, you are the chosen appointee of which is which. Grant me that I know my path before me. Why would I hold back when I have all the love in the world to give more than you, or anyone could ask for? In the world at large, you do not know of what another man is made let alone of what God is made. Sometimes, my friend, you rise in hot air rather than in spirit. To listen more, and talk less is good advice. In fact, to be silent is good advice. Life has a way of its own. God sees further than you. Thank God for this even when you do not see where I am coming from. You remember the saying that you never know who is knocking at your door. It has been suggested that you get dressed to welcome who knocks on your door. It can be God. On the other hand, you really always can know, it is God knocking at your door perhaps dressed as a beggar. Perhaps you further say that. It is always you yourself knocking at your own door no matter how you are dressed, or what you look like, or how you are seen by the one who answers the door even as he is also you. What do you really know? Not at all what you have liked to think you know, dear one.